I'm currently sitting on top of the two mattresses that have been here since Erob lived here. I think they're both Erobs. Not actually sure. Um, I've pretty much set up my PC, but I still have to plug in the Ethernet. And then the chair that I'm using, I'm now using as a mic stand. I'm using the chair to hold my mic so I can't sit in it. So I need to bring up a new PC or a new chair. Um, and my phone was here. So I was like, this is easier than Russell scared because Mavit ambush like a month ago or a couple months ago because I left the dogs here, but I left them in the backyard. Um, I left them in the backyard and simply brought them in, but then no one was downstairs with them. They were all like in their rooms and then Ambush came through the front door and was going to go to Darion's room or, or Russell's room or something. So he walked like past them to go upstairs and Maverick, like they both freaked out when he came into the door. I, I think just being inside with me and other people, they'll sort it out. As long as I'm there, they're fine. But that's what I'm stressed about, is, is I don't want people to avoid them because they're scared of them and just prolong the issue, you know? Uh, and I, I think that that's uh, pretty plausible. Also, for other reasons, I mean, nobody that I'm living with is accustomed to living with dogs. So, like, Bella grabbed a burger off the counter today that was, like, hanging off the edge of the counter. Which I realize is like a manners thing, and dogs Happy holidays, can learn to not do that. I, I don't think that it's responsible. Not just because of corona, but also because I'll have just moved into the new house, and I don't feel comfortable leaving my dogs uh, for a week right when we move in. with Because the only person that I would feel comfortable leaving them with in Texas is Matt, uh, because they know him well enough. I don't think that they know Slick's Slick well enough uh, that I, to the point where I would feel comfortable with it. Um, so I just don't think that that's going to happen. It's coming up so fast. Sorry a second. So. Slick is the only one that's like 100% chill with, like he just does not give a shit <laughs> if they bark or, or whatever. Wow. So I don't know. I'm not like, I'm not particularly sad about the holiday. I don't really care about Christmas. Um, the older I get, the less I care about Christmas, as sad as that is, but the one that I was upset about was Thanksgiving, because my family agrees to meet, um, once a year. Like, we all try to get together once a year, and Thanksgiving for- was our meetup for this year. Politic I already missed that, for so, three like, months. Christmas Your doesn't matter, because we weren't gonna do anything three. for Christmas anyway. Um, like, it would be nice to see Matt's family, and I love going to Jersey and seeing Matt's friends and whatever, but, uh, I don't know. I mean, we can go to Jersey another another time. It's just such bad timing, you know, with uh, with getting settled and all that and moving. Um, like Thanksgiving, I was moving out of my house. Christmas, I'm gonna be moving out of this one. Just terrible timing for transitions for for the dogs, especially. God, my life would be so easy if I didn't have these dogs. Um, or my horse, or my falcon, because you can just get up and go wherever you want, but, you know, it's worth it. It's just, wow. I'm not as mobile as, as most. Um, is Ori still struggling with the uh, hood? Actually, you know what's crazy is, remember how I said after he screamed about the hood, whatever, and I was like, maybe if I just make it seem like less of a big deal, uh, he'll be fine. Because when I did it on stream, uh, I was like, I had the hood, and I was like, okay, like, we're gonna put the hood on here, and it just made it look kind of scary, um, and I kind of changed my attitude. I changed nothing else. I did no other training. I did no other feeding through the hood, nothing. I was just like, not a big deal, hood, you know, um, and it went like this. I'm holding the hood.
That's it. <laughs> so my sponsor may have been right about him uh, kind of messing with me. Um, here's him on the lure yesterday. So you throw it out and then nice. So I was him on the hood yesterday. Uh, I worked him today. He started hitting my glove hard today. Like I at one point thought, what if this bird breaks my hand? Because hawks kill by grabbing, right? But they're not they, they won't, like, they could, they could break your bone through your hand, um, but falcons kill by concussing, right? So they hit things really hard in the air, and they, they knock them down. Um, and he hit my glove twice today really fucking hard. The first three times. So he landed once, and he landed, and I was like, damn. Like, my hand moved, and I was like, you really, like, I mean, you came in hot there, but okay. Then the second time... He hit it really hard and my hand like hit this arm. And I was like, I have never had a bird land like that before. I don't know what that means. Cause most birds, you know, they, they come and they, they land like this. He landed like, Psh! like he wanted to take my glove out. Then the third time he hit it so hard that my glove went like this and he like ricocheted off my glove. He like hit it like he was concussing it and then ricocheted off. And then I put my hand up and he came back up. Um, so there may be a little bit of aggression building up towards that, that glove that I need to be mindful of. Um, but he hit the lure really well. He flew, he did a, uh, he did a pass. 10 resubbed for seven months. Thank you. He did a pass, uh, at the lure and then landed on the fence on the other side and then he did a pass on the way back. Um, so I texted my old sponsor and I asked her what the next steps are. Like, can I mimic longer passes? Uh, or do I just need to free fly and, and hope that he does long passes? And she said that I need to start uh, getting him to hit the lure uh, from about 100 feet out in different places. Um, I got this bracelet. <laughs> I showed it on Mrs. Stream. I'm so excited. It's so sick. Look at this. Isn't that cool? This is so nice for field use. Like in falconry to just have this and not have to worry about your belt or your uh, your knife coming off your belt. Just having this on your wrist and taking it off and cutting into shit. Um, nice. I'm excited about this. How's the knife quality? I mean, get what you pay for. It's ten bucks, so it's not that great, but it'll do. It's pretty sharp. I mean, yeah, it'll do. Uh, all I really need to cut into is quail, so, uh, yeah, it'll definitely do the job for, for that. The dogs are right here, by the way, while we're talking about them. Night. It honestly pisses me off how much better I can see with glasses on. Like, every time I put glasses on, I just get pissed off. Did you miss Cali? No, I miss the people in Cali. I don't miss how much it costed to live there, and I don't miss being so far from Matt and my friends. Should we do a people oh, candle? Wow. I have no reverb. Spence said yes. Spence, dude. I had chat open today during the IRL when we were talking about Kaylee's wow. driving. Marie I Lady see... Cole resubbed for three months. Thank you. I see in chat, just like in the corner of my eye, I love K-Bubbles, I love K-Bubbles, I love K-Bubbles in caps. And I was like, I bet anything that was Spence. I didn't say anything. This was all in my head. I scrolled up and it was Spence. <laughs> we'll, do, we'll do a little people candle in bed. A cozy one. To calm me down. Maybe. Um, so everybody can leave. Actually, that's better. Because uh, this is a really scuffed stream and I feel bad about it. I also feel some pressure. I feel like I'm intentionally throwing. I feel some pressure wow. because I just Grave moved in and I know- Grave underscore mistress subbed for four months. Thank you. And I know that that means my viewership is going to go up uh, just because of my proximity to to other people. 
And so I feel like more people are going to be watching. And this is what Milena said this to me a while ago. She was like, if you do a really good stream and you have a bunch of viewers, you have to do something good the next time so that when they come back, because they're like, that was a good stream, um, they stay. And so I kind of have that mentality where like, I feel like I should do something good because people are going to be here. But I want to do the opposite because that stresses me out. You know what I'm saying? My, It's just not, I don't know. It's not today, man. Just not, just not today. I'm in the music section. What's up, music section? You know what this feels like? This feels like old Maya. This feels like, um, I'm not that I used a phone before, but the laptop and like the scuffed setup and the whatever, it feels like uh, when I started. Oh my God, it unplugged. This laptop now dies at 98% consistently, so it's gotta stay plugged in. Um, <laughs> I should get a new battery. I should get a new battery. Yes. It's just not on my list right now. I just, it works if it's plugged in. Just leave it plugged in. Right? The Or just get a new laptop. Fuck that. I am not putting a laptop on my tech list right now. I am buying so much fucking tech shit right now. I don't need another MacBook Air. No. No. Get a laptop for Christmas? No. The only thing that I asked for for Christmas was a Kindle. I said that to Matt. You know what he said? I was like, I think a Kindle would be really neat. I think I could use it everywhere and I get lots of books. I could read it. And he said, oh a Kindle, like, to read books, and I was like, yeah, and he's like, oh, I'm probably not gonna get Thank that, because so he thinks it's boring. Goes to I really want to make Matt's Christmas presents on stream. Actually, I bet I could when he's gone, and I can just tell him not to watch, because he's not streaming, so nobody's gonna snitch. He would 100% watch, then it's his fault that it's not a surprise, and I don't care. Um, I have an idea. I don't know if it's gonna work, but it's worth a shot. So, I'm gonna try. LSF? It won't be on LSF. I kinda wish- Mitch has kinda got a good thing going with being banned from LSF. It's kinda nice. Like, I- I do kind of like being on stream with Mitch, like, today in the IRL, and just- what Milena said on stream today, and just not worrying about it. Um, it's kinda nice. You can request it? No way. Didn't Michaela try to request it for ages? They changed the rules. LSF is mad annoying. Hmm. How do you get banned? I don't even know why Mitch is banned, but it's dumb that he is. <sighs> yeah, I definitely wish that I was not on LSF last week, or was it the week before? I don't know. Wow. It wasn't a good time. Okay, we're doing a music stream. Bye, everybody. Nintendo was shot by Skeleton. <laughs>